Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappinkatie.ctmh.com and I am playing along with the November Stretch the Sketch Challenge. And make sure you stick around to the very end of my video for an unexpected surprise to my layout. So for today's Stretch the Sketch, I am going to use probably one of my Craft with Heart subscription layouts. So here's a look at the sketch. So right off the bat, I love the circles. I love the distressed look. I love the bright pops of color, black and white. Um, so I am going to make this into a double page layout, two 12 by 12. So remember, anything with stretch the sketch means we just have to do something other than a 12 by 12 with it. So here's a look at my September through December cut above kit. Now, I am an annual subscriber, so with that, um, I got a free stamp set. So, every little moment, create, superstar, just cute things that you can add to your layouts, or even cards if you're a card maker. And then I also get, if you're an annual subscriber, you get 30 free persnickety prints with each box. And so, you get a box of four months at a time, and here is a look at the kits. Now again, this was September through December, and I'm about to get a new one in January, so I thought I need to go ahead and use this up. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit because this kit, I love it, and it already has circles here. So I'm just going to adapt those circles to the sketch, and I'm loving the black, I mean the uh, bright colors, like I mentioned when I showed you the sketch, and then of course the black and white. And then I thought I would just walk you through the other layouts um, and show you what you get in this four month kit. So here is a look at October. And again, on the back, it walks you through how to assemble them. And you'll see on mine how fast and easy they come together, which is good for you to catch up on your scrapbooking or if you're a newbie, it's really good. And then November, and I don't know if you know, but here's my little family in November. So that was our Christmas photos a couple of years back when our oldest son came down to visit. And he is coming again for Thanksgiving. I am so excited, but I have so much to do, as you know. And then here's December. Now, I contemplated doing Decembers because here are a bunch of circles, but... I'm really not wanting to scrapbook older photos. I'm going to save that for the December collab I'm doing um, with some of the members of the Scrappy Inspiration Group. And then here is kind of a wintry layout. So there's a look at the box. And then I'm going to clear this off and then we'll get started on the stretch the sketch. So I've pulled out all the elements and you get sticker sheets and die cuts. And there's a solid black line that tells you which layout they go to. So since these are stickers, I'm just gonna cut along the solid black line and that way I can put the stickers for layout two right here and the stickers for layout one, I will set aside because that's the layout I'm not doing. And then I'm just going to punch these little arcs to some circles out. And again, it's the same concept. So here's layout two and everything in that black line goes with that layout. Okay, I've pulled out, okay. believe it or not, I've pulled out some Halloween um, themed pattern paper. So I'm gonna use that with this. Again, remember I mentioned that I love the black and white. And then I also pulled out my persnickety box prints. Not Halloween. But I wanted to, my daughter had an event at school, and so I wanted to scrapbook these. And I think it's going to be a great layout to do because of the bright colors of the greens that they're wearing in some of the photos. So I'm gonna just put this persnickety box up. And then we can get started. Now, <clears throat> the good thing about these layouts is they're already pre-printed like this. So if you wanted to leave it like this and just make it, you could. But again, I'm going to try to stay true to the sketch as much as possible. So I'm actually going to cut this circle in half. And that looks like it's six inches. 
Yeah, it'll just cut this right in half. And that way I can use this and then this. And then this might be actually a different layout. We're gonna have to see how this is going to work out. So I also cut this other one um, it was almost at nine inches. So now I have these two pieces. And then I think that's going to be it. If I do have another layout, because I do have quite a bit of photos, then I can use some of these somewhere else. So I think I want this coupled with this. And I'm going to put these two aside for another layout. I'm going to bring out a white base and then I originally cut these to six inches because I thought I was going to use those two but I think I might do this and then on my other one it'll be these two Actually, I may flip that around. Put the circles together. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, so we're going to get this laid down. I'm one of those people that has to kind of do it sideways to get it somewhat straight. So I'm constantly flipping my pages here. Since this isn't exactly three inches, um, I just applied adhesive to my base and then I'm going to get this glued down and then I can just cut off the excess. I hate that I'm covering up that adorable candy paper, but... That's why I bought two packs because there were a couple of patterns in there that were non-Halloween that I really knew that I could use for other things. And the star pattern paper is definitely one of them. So for the other side, again, I decided to do the white space on the inside on that left side that way the circle looks like it's being cut off from the pattern paper and then this can go right here it's kind of freaking me out because there's a border right there so i never know if i'm got it straight or not okay so let's take a look Yes, perfect. Okay, so now we can start building our pages. Another thing Another I love thing about these kits is they come with white photo placeholders in case you want to make them up and add your photos later. Or what I usually like to do is just trim my photo down just a hair and use the photo placeholders as white mats. And then this particular kit came with some three by four black mats and then a four by six. But because I had a square photo, I'm just going to use that 4x6 and trim it down. And then I've got a photo mat that looks like it was meant to be that size all along. So these photos are going to go across kind of the bottom half. And I'm positioning them where she's looking in, but these photos are kind of anchoring her look. And then this one will go on that other one. Now, if you remember the stickers, they said these are the best days. Okay, so I'm going to start probably on the circle, the part of the circle closest to the other layout. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with my E and usually if I'm working with stickers 
I don't like to press down very hard until I'm sure of the spacing. So I'm just anchoring those at the bottom. And then once I get the spacing correct, then I go back and press them down. I also try to limit my oil for my fingers. I try to limit that getting on the sticker because it makes the sticker lose its stickiness. So I'm using tweezers. I've also used paper piece paper piercers before. Really anything. And then usually sticker sheets kind of bend like this, so it makes it really easy to get the sticker off. This really helps that it's already spelled out for me. <laughs> usually spelling backwards, I like have to think about it and really think about it because there's always that possibility that you can spell it wrong. That usually happens when I'm stamping because I also love to stamp my titles. Not a good thing. I've actually had to cover up a mistake or two. Okay, so these are, and there's a couple of arrows. I'm going to use this one with the heart. Okay, so I like that. So I'm just going to press those down. And then start getting these adhered. And I think I'm going to actually use 3D foam tape for these. Okay, so I actually decided to use um, my 3D foam sheets. Number one, I am almost out of foam tape. And number two, it just kind of gives it more stability. And I have it double matted. I know there's been a question of whether... The foam sheets are acid free. So usually when I am using them, I have a double mat here between in between my photo. So hopefully that works. I mean, I can only do my best, correct? So for these two photos, I am basically using this center line of the circle as a guide. And then that's going to allow me to then put on this third photo. Just going to make sure those are lined up. And if they're not. Okay. And then this last photo can go on. That is about the same space. So a lot of the die cuts were these little arcs, remember? And what they're supposed to do is you then can add 3D foam tape like to this one and just add some dimension to there. So that's what I'm going to do. And I just love that it just, it's that extra something, like I mentioned before. I'm almost out of foam tape because I use it all the time. It's probably one of my favorite things. So then we have these other ones. Now some of them we're not going to be able to use um, because I covered the portions up. So we can use that one. I also like 3D foam tape because it allows you to, you know, like my photos, it allowed me to kind of add some dimension to those. And then because I usually embellish after I add my photos, it allows me to tuck some things under there. Okay, so that would have been cute, but that's just not going to happen I don't think unless I could or no let's see let's pull this one out okay so I've got this one 
I can use this one. So that's pretty much it on that one. And I think that's all. Yeah, I think I'll save those. Okay, the next thing I wanted to do was add some of these star stickers. And I love that there are various sizes. Well, for the final star, I decided to use some 3D foam tape. So I'm just going to apply that to my anti-static pouch to take the stickiness off and then apply a 3D foam circle to the back and put it right down in that bottom left corner. So there is that one. And let's start out with this one. Now on this one, I'm going to have a photo right here. So that's still going to allow me to add 3D foam to those. Three sequence photos. I trimmed them down ever so slightly because you know they are four by four, but I wanted to add a white mat to kind of mimic this. So I think those are going to go on like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get these 3D pieces added. And then add some foam to this square photo. And I'm just going to use the same foam that I used on the others. I don't want it sticking too far in on that arch. Because I'm going to add the rest of that title. But let's see how this looks with these photos that are much lower. Okay, so I've got that down. And then now to cut a white mat for that. Okay, so cut it at four and a quarter. And then it's it's the top side that was cut a little less so they would fit on here. So I'm gonna adhere the bottom and the top and then sandwich the middle. Okay. It's a little off, but we can just add an embellishment there, right? <laughs> okay. Now we have the rest of that title, which the best days. So I'm going to start over here in that red section. Okay, so we're finishing off with the T. It is going to have to kind of be tucked in behind that photo. The best days. And then I want to add another arrow. And I've got these. Man, I don't like that. Which one did I use? I used the one with the heart. Okay. And then, of course, we've got some more stars. And this little bitty purple one, I think I want to go up there. I think I'm going to do 3D foam tape to this one again. And I want to bring that heart over to this side. So the heart that punched out of the arrow on the left layout, I'm just going to put right there. And then I don't think the arrows over here are necessary. So... We're going to save on that. Okay, so I just had a grand idea since I only have a few photos left. And I still had this piece and then this piece and this piece. I'm actually going to create a flip flap. 
here. Unfamiliar with what flip flaps are. Um, they're basically like adhesive pockets that you can extend the life of your layout like I'm doing here. And they just attach to your memory protector. And I just love them. They're just kind of like little surprises of photos, journaling, anything like that. And so we have several sizes. And one of them is a 6 by 12. So I need to trim that off. So I'm going to build the back side first. So I have these two photos that I've trimmed down to three by four, and I'm going to use that black star paper as the photo mat. And I'm just going to eyeball, and I want the same at the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to put a sticker or something there. And then for this side, so this is the side that's going to show when the flip flap is closed. So again, it looks like just a 12 by 12 layout. So I want to mimic this photo over here. Now I have these little bits and pieces of photo mat. So I think I'm going to attempt to piece them together and just hope that you can't see too much of the line of the crease. So I've got that one. then we just need to trim that excess off. Okay, so I want to make sure that this is even, and that's how I will line up this photo. Okay, and then let's take a look at the stickers that we have left. So, of course, we have several arrows, but I think this one with the heart is going to be cute because these are her friends. And it also is going to hopefully signify that you need to pull this open. I don't want to do. Let's see about these first because I definitely want to add some. So I think I'll be good to add it down there. I'm going to add some 3D foam to this. I decided to add it to the smaller arc on this one because on that opposite page that candy apple arc that's pop dotted is the large one so I didn't want large and large okay so we have that and then the only thing missing are stars so I really wanted to carry some stars over here so in that same Halloween package we have some stars now these aren't the same um, style of stars, you know, because they don't have the outside edge to them. But I still think they'll work because I'm just going to sporadically use them and then I can also put some over here on this side. Well, it does not want to stick. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just add some um, some circles. If you remember that sketch, 
had some kind of um, media, mixed media that had circles. And so I've pulled out a couple of stamp sets that can get that done. Hmm. So let me see right here. I think I'll do that. Okay, and then I'm going to add some circles. So here's what I was talking about. Remember I have that? So I'm just going to add some stamped black circles randomly. So I have two sizes from two different stamps. And the best way to do that is just put them both on the same block. I'm going to do that. Not the exact look I was going for, but it'll work. And then let's pull out this one to make it cohesive. And you can see I'm just kind of making sure those circles are random. And you can get that by um, just twisting your stamp set. That is so... I'm in a hurry. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So we are done. So here are some still shots of those layouts. Again, I love how this layout looks like it is just a double page layout. And then, of course, on the left page and then the right page looks like a single page. But then you open it up and you can see that flip flap and all those extra photos. And I'm going to have her journal on the inside of that flip flap. Now, I did end up using one of the stamp sets or the stamp set that I got free with my annual subscription. Those little stitches I used. And then there were some, some sentiment stamps that I used on the layout as well. Don't forget that this is part of a YouTube collab, so I'll leave links down below to the other girls' YouTube videos so you can go see how they stretch the sketch for this November 2021 sketch. And then I will also leave links down to all the products that I used if they're still available. And then as always, if you liked what you saw, please consider leaving a comment and a thumbs up. And if you aren't already a subscriber, I would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification button so you won't miss another crafty video.